Hi, I'm Kevin Penley, men's golf coach at Winthrop University. Today I want to tell you a little bit about our program and also go over a couple of tips with you. We had an up and down fall season. We were a, a very talented squad but haven't performed up to our expectations. Uh, hopefully this off season our guys are working hard. We start back up in March and expecting some big things. Uh, Coastal Carolina and Liberty will be the top teams in our conference, but uh, we're looking forward to, to pushing those guys, and we've got the ability to play well uh, when we put things together. We've got to eliminate some bad mistakes. We haven't played the par fives well, and we've made some too many double bogeys along the way, but uh, when we play within ourselves, stick to our game plans, we've got the talent to be there in the end. So I want to go over a couple things with you that will help you with your golf game. No, the main thing that I see in average players and, and weekend golfers, and even with our college players and, and from my days on the, on the Nationwide Tour, is balance is the key. Um, bad balance will lead you to miss hitting, miss hitting shots and, uh, and will lead to poor scores for you. So a couple of things here now. To good balance, there's three main things. Number one, we want to have a good athletic posture. In golf, we want to make sure that it's just like basketball. If I'm jumping for a rebound, I want to be in a good athletic position, knees flexed, standing tall, arms hanging down. And then from there, it's grip pressure. The second thing would be the grip. You don't want to choke it too hard. You don't want to really squeeze it. Okay, It's going to lead to tension in your muscles, and that's not going to lead you to, to making a proper golf swing. So we want to relax in the, in the grip. And then lastly, we're going to simply step in and whatever your swing key is, for me, it's a big shoulder turn. I want to make sure I make a full turn and then turn and face my target, belt buckle facing the target, and I can stand here all day long. If you're not swinging in balance, you're going to hit a shot and you're going to fall all over the place. I call it the kill swing with a lot of amateurs. They lose their balance, they can't maintain it. The main thing to remember is that when you hit a shot, you should be able to stand here all day until that ball lands. If you can't, you need to keep practicing and doing it until you can. It's going to lead you to hitting more shots, solid in the club face, with better distance. I hope this helps you with your golf game.